Hi there! Today I'm going to make for you my favorite spaghetti and meatball recipe. I love these meatballs that I make. I make them with garlic, onions, some breadcrumbs, one egg, and I brown them. And then I let them simmer in a slow cooker all day with some tomato sauce or whatever sauce you like. But I did this for probably 25, 30 years. I would brown these in a frying pan and then I would have a crock pot and I'd put the meatballs in the sauce in the crock pot all day and it smelled delicious and then when I'm ready to eat I just boil my spaghetti which I have angel hair here today I should have got that out for you here it is that's my favorite kind of spaghetti any brand doesn't matter like I said I used to use the frying pan on the stove in a crock pot but I have this Kasori multi cooker which I'm gonna set on brown brown mode and I'm going to start that, warm it up while I'm mixing these. But you can still do this in your frying pan. It's just that this is so convenient. I could even boil the spaghetti in there, but I'm going to do that separately because I want to keep the sauce and the meatballs in this vessel. I'll put a little olive oil in there. Just a little bit. I like this soft closing lid. Isn't that nice? I use this pretty often. I have two pounds of ground beef. My grandmother and my great-grandmother used to make this, but they would use one-third beef, one-third pork, and one-third veal, and they were so delicious. And you could buy mixtures like that at the store. But I like just hamburger. I like the other one too, but <laughs> this is just so easy for me right now because I had this in the house. Everything I here I had, I didn't have to buy anything. So I'm gonna put an amount of breadcrumbs about a quarter cup. You get the idea of how much to put in when you do it a few times. I have one egg. I would use two, but these are jumbo. If I did one pound, I would do one egg. If I do two pounds, I would do two eggs, but there's a jumbo egg. Oh, I'm gonna cut up my garlic and my onion. I put that in there too. Most of this I'm gonna put in there and some of it I'm gonna put in the sauce. Right back when I cut these up. Oh, wasn't that quick? You put about two-thirds of the onions in there. Cut up real fine, see? And this was a pretty big clove of garlic. Put about two-thirds of that in there, too. And you can leave this out if you want. Remember, I'm going to put the rest of this and the onion in the sauce. That's going to be good. Sure is. Then, with your very clean hands, which mine are, mix this up or you could use a spoon but I find using a hand is much better to get everything incorporated you can add salt and pepper in here if you like as you go perk it up a little more I was waiting all weekend for this this is my Sunday dinner delicious Sunday dinner for us but you can make this on Tuesday too And like I said, I used to make this so many years ago because it's so easy and I didn't consider myself a cook, but if I like to eat, I like to cook because I like to eat. <laughs> That's pretty well mixed up. Now, see at this point I might put a little bit more breadcrumbs in there. Seasoned, Italian seasoning. Just for consistency. However you like it. You can put green peppers in here or whatever you like. Make it like my grandma with veal and pork and beef. Oh, that's so good. I think this is good right now. So the amount of breadcrumbs you put in, you, you decide if, if that's a good consistency to roll into a, a ball, a meatball. I still might want a little bit more to let them hold together. And it gives you good flavor as well. Extra good flavor. Everything's mixed in good. Alright, let's open this lid. Let's get warm quick. 
Kasori multi cooker on browning mode. It's coming up to temperature, and when it reaches its browning temperature, it'll beep. And I think I can start putting these in there. This is two pounds, remember? And you can make these as big as you like, or as big as golf balls, or a little bit bigger. Roll them up like that. Nice, see? Isn't it beautiful? Sizzle? A little bit. Yeah, there we go. Anybody want to guess how many we're going to get out of here? We'll see. Beautiful, see? Make sure there's no crack to, crack to split open or anything like that. Alright, I'll roll these up. Get back to you and show you a top shot here. And then we can count them. Did you make your guesses? I'm going to guess 12. I have four in there already. That's my guess. What's your guess? All right, back when these are rolled up. Perfect. Put that onion and garlic in there. Whoa. Hold them around a little bit. Brown them up. They don't have to be cooked thoroughly all the way through because they're going to sit in this sauce probably at least six hours, maybe eight. But they can sit in there all day long. On low, in your crock pot or your multi-cooker. Are you counting along with me? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, my guess was wrong because here comes number 12. And you see how the breadcrumbs bind these together and make them stay as a nice solid ball so you can roll them around rather than cracking and breaking apart like wet hamburger. You're going to love making this. You can make it. Make it a frying pan. Put in the crock pot. Or your multi cooker. Counting. Everybody counting. That's so easy. Here's the last one. I'm going to make the last one a little bigger. No, that's about the same. You could make these very small and have 20 meatballs in there. But this is going to be perfect. Alright, who counted along with me? What do we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Who guessed 15? You did? <laughs> I guessed 12. And I'm sitting here. Okay, we're going to brown these up for a few minutes. So they're brown like that on all edges. I don't even know if I have to drain this because I put such a small amount of olive oil in there. That might just add to the goodness of the sauce. I'm going to add my big two pound 12 ounce jar of classical four cheese pasta sauce it's actually 44 ounces total you could cut this recipe in half you know just do a pound of hamburger and a pound of sauce back in a couple minutes and wash my hands off all right i think they're looking pretty good I like them like that there's hardly anything in there to drain out see that it's beautiful now, I take my Classico four cheese made with fresh ricotta and cream, 44 ounces, like I said. <laughs> and pour it in. Well, let's cancel this mode. Cancel. Thank you for the browning. It was beautiful. This is going to be so good. I'm going to put a little shot of water in there just to rinse off the sides. That's about a, another half a cup of water. It's okay. It's going to cook down. And it's going to be so good. Remember what else I was going to add? I was going to add the rest of this garlic. And the rest of the onion. Just for a little extra goodness. 
stir that up good. I'll put some oregano in there. You will find that across the room. Oh, it smells so good already. And what I always thought was my secret, well, somebody told me they do it too last week. I put a little sugar in there. Sugar. About a tablespoon or two. Takes the acidity away a little bit and sweetens it up, and it's a secret ingredient. Look at this. Are you going to love this on your bowl of spaghetti later today? Mm hmm? Let me get some oregano over here. There's the oregano. Mmm, mmm. Smell that. I just smell this early in the morning. It's 7 a.m. right now. I wanted to do it sooner, but. 7 a.m. is good. Maybe around 1 or 2 we'll eat. Later is okay. If anybody stops by to visit, they're going to smell this. Another little secret ingredient is a little bit of butter. That never hurt anybody. Did I say a little bit of butter? Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, it's going to be so good. You know it. You know it. I'm going to set it on the slow cook mode. I'll show you in the front. And that's all I have to do with it. Was it easy or not? Yes, it was. And if you don't like meat, make it without meat. <laughs> that sound. That's it. Let's go down here to low. Here's, here's oven. Here's slow cook. Here's stove. See, boil, brown, simmer, saute. I'm going to go to slow cook here, low, and it sets your temperatures over there, you see? If you can see it with the camera. Low, and my time, I'm going to leave the temperature there, 182. The time I'm going to change, oh, it has 8 hours. Let's leave it at 8 hours, see? But I could change it like this. I'm going to leave it at 8 hours, and press start. The clock is going to be a timer. When it reaches that temperature, I'll hear another beep, which should be pretty quick because it was already warm in there. Well, it already beeped because it was already at that temperature because it was on brown, and brown was hotter than that. But if it wasn't at that temperature, it would get to that temperature and then beep. Okay, it's gonna count down from eight hours and it's gonna sit here. And whenever I decide I wanna eat, I'm gonna eat in about six or eight hours. Okay, so seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 2, 3, but what do you think? All right, so we can eat this anytime afternoon, and it's going to be so good. Anybody stops by, it's going to smell like beautiful Sunday dinner in here, even if it's Wednesday or Thursday, but today's going to be special. Okay, and then you can eat with us later, all right? So get your skitties ready. See you then. It's been six hours. And I'm hungry. I could leave it in there for two more hours or as long as I want. But I boiled some water in this big heavy cast iron pan. It's so heavy. Look at this thing. <laughs> I'm going to put my angel hair spaghetti in there now. The whole pound. We're going to have some leftovers maybe, huh? Unless you stop by. Is your spaghetti ready yet? And we're going to... Oh, I got some down on the burner. Oof. <laughs> we're going to let that come back to a boil. In six or seven minutes, we're going to be eating. I hope. Okay, you hungry? I'm starving. And that sauce and meatball smells so good. They're going to be so tender. Okay, we'll be back when this is done. Okay, that's good. Look at that. I'll just put them on the plates, and then we'll bring our sauce and meatballs over, okay? How much do you want? Do you want some? Sure do. You want one scoop like that? Okay. Let's see how much it makes on the plate. Is that enough? Yeah. Woo! Ooh. If you wanted to, you could put the spaghetti right in that pot and mix them all up. But we like doing it like this. For leftovers, we could add it in there. 
we might do that, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's hot. All right, and I didn't open this once yet. Let me stop it. I'm gonna open it right now. Whoa. Didn't open it, didn't stir it, didn't do anything. I'm gonna bring it over right there on the table. I'll show it to you. It smells so good. It smells like an Italian restaurant. You like that? Mm, oh, remember the butter right there? See, I told you I didn't stir it. The butter stayed right there. It's in there. Oh, and the meatballs are gonna melt in your mouth. Okay. Come on over and eat with me. Okay, I'm coming. All right. Should I leave my apron on? Keep my shirt nice and clean? Yeah, Although okay. I, I'm good with spaghetti. I don't get it on my white shirts, do I? You're pretty good with it. Sometimes, though. Ladle, ladle. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right. Does this smell good? Yeah. <laughs> Water. You want to go first? What do you want? Mostly sauce? A couple meatballs or what? Two meatballs. Go ahead. <laughs> Meet the ball. Mm, look at that nice ladle full. Mostly, I love the sauce. That smells so good. I see little pieces of garlic and onion oh, in there. That it's it's like chunky sauce. I could have added a tomato in there from the garden too. Sometimes I do that. Oh my goodness! Look at that. Oh, <laughs> I wish you guys could taste this. Me me me. First, I put some shells. Look at this. Ooh. And then I get a couple meatballs. Hmm. I'll start with two meatballs. I'll show you how good and tender they are. Well, I should put the lid on that, shouldn't I? For a couple minutes, right? Okay. Ooh, oh, it smells so good. <laughs> and some cheese. Please. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now we break bread. I was gonna make bread too, but I didn't feel like it. We break bread. Okay. Now we're friends. <laughs> Thank you. Butter me. <laughs> <laughs> so, how's your spaghetti? Good? Hmm? <laughs> or are you having pizza? It smells like pizza. No oh, smell like pizza. It smells it like smells a tomato -y. Italian restaurant. And like meat. It smells like grandma's on Sunday. Yeah. And Tuesday and Thursday and Friday and Saturday. The good old Sunday sauce. Yeah. That they let it cook with the meat in it. Mm. Okay. We broke bread. We're gonna taste our meatballs. Meat a balls. It's gonna be so tender, the meat. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at that meatball. Oh my mm -hmm. god. It's gonna be hot though. Yeah, we gotta be careful here. <clears throat> <laughs> the steam's coming off of it yet. <laughs> but it's so good. Mm. The sauce is just infused in there. Uh -uh. And the garlic and Flavored breadcrumbs, mm, mm. a little bit of onion, but you can leave that out. You can taste. Mm. So the first thing I do is enjoy how good the meatballs are, and then I start eating it up like crazy. You can taste the garlic so much, mm -hmm. right? That's good for me. Sometimes I'd be happy with the sauce and a loaf of bread. Nothing else. <laughs> it's like a party. Dip it in there. <laughs> Could have cut up pieces of sausage and put in, like I do sometimes, mm -hmm. and cook all day instead of hamburger. Mm -hmm. Just cut up about inch and a half slices. This was really so good. Um, not much fat in the meat because it didn't even make mm -hmm. any. So I was thinking about this all week. Mm -hmm. Just a regular Sunday spaghetti dinner.
need one of my electric forks. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I knew when he said, do we have to wait till Sunday <laughs> that we, uh, that he was really hungry for it. And I made it. Don't need no fancy gadgets. Could have fried the meat in your frying pan. Could have used your crock pot or a sauce pot and have it on real low all day. Mm-hmm. Could have done that. Also, with this pot, it's easy to add the spaghetti to the sauce mm -hmm. and just store it in the refrigerator. A cassori multi-cooker. Mm -hmm. I like that. It's a nice, nice pot because it does a lot of things. It's a nice pot. But then when we want to eat it for leftovers, we can put it right back in the mm -hmm. unit and heat it up. Don't even have to make one more dish. Mm-hmm. Mm. Could use paper plates too. <laughs> mm, you did a good job. Mm hmm. I agree. <laughs> How many meeples were there? Do you remember? <laughs> Fifteen. How many did you have? Two? I had two. I might have two more. I'm going to have this for leftovers this week. You know how much better leftovers always anyway? Do you have any dessert? No. <laughs> we break more bread. <laughs> we can make dessert. We got lottery tickets. Should we do that on camera? Oh, yeah. Wish us luck. <laughs> I got you a Wizard of Oz ticket. Mm. See him there? Mm -hmm. I like the wizard. Mm. I got big old Benz. Wizard of Oz. There's one more. There should be one more. Oh, two stuck together. Oh. And break the bank. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we just scratch off that barcode and scan him still. Scratching all them things are confusing. Mm. Is it rude to do that while you're eating? Mm -mm. Mm. This is going to fill me up. It should. <laughs> mm, the meatballs. The meatballs mm. are good. <laughs> Do I need a coin for that? Or my fingernail? You need a coin. Look. You like the Wizard of Oz? The uh, Glinda bonus. Hey, Glinda. It's a good witch. But we're just going to scratch off this barcode here. See it? See that barcode? And scan it with my smartphone. Want yours first? Okay. Let me scratch the big old bends. And break the bank. Break the bank, you can win. There's 10 prizes of $100,000. I'd like to win $100,000. What does Wizard of Oz have? Same thing, 10 prizes of 100000 right? Mm-hmm. How about big old bends? Ooh, 10 top prizes of 300000 But with Glenda... Reveal a multiplier and multiply any prize won in the play area below. Or scan the code and skip all the fine print, right? If I won $300,000 right now, I think I'd retire tomorrow. Because mm. that's all I need. That's all I need to be square, right? Like I'm not square enough now? <laughs> Are you ready? Who's first? Glenda. Yeah? Let's see. Mm. 
Pennsylvania lottery. Toto too. Take a checker. Look. Toto's on there. It's <laughs> game ticket. All right. How do we show them? Well, let's we'll see. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, no sorry, Dorothy. Oh, that makes me hungry. Okay, good luck. I can another took it. Break the bank. No. Oh. Mm. I heard it go up and it go uh, down. Where did it go? <laughs> <laughs> we'll find it one day. Okay, I really wanted to win this anyway. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Well, we won when we had this nice spaghetti dinner, right? And thanks for visiting us. <laughs> Who needs money when you got friends like you? Yeah. <laughs> we break bread. <laughs> I think we add some more sauce. I was thinking that. Yeah. I feel good about this. Not having it all in the pot. And it makes it nice mm. and hot again. <laughs> There's butter in there too, buttery. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a feast. Sunday feast. Should I take a nap before I edit this video and put it on? That's a funny question. It's a funny question. Why? Because I know the answer. <laughs> what? What is it? You'll be taking a nap. <laughs> right? Yeah, but they want to see the video while they're eating. Mm -hmm. I'll take a quick nap, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and I'll see you later tonight. I'm seeing you now. Hi. Hope you had something good. Hope you ate with us. It's so good. These meatballs. And I made these for 25 years, probably, or 30 or longer. I don't know. You know, meatballs were one of the first things that he made for me when he was showing me how he could cook. Really? When I first met him. <laughs> Did I have them in the crock pot all day, maybe? Uh-huh. The old style crock pot. Mmm. You can do that. What else are we going to do tonight? Mm. You want to drive in? Why not? Mm. What's there? I think it's still the. I don't know. What is it? Ghostbusters or. I don't forget. Well, is it open Sunday nights? Yeah, it's only open weekends now. But it's crowded on weekends. What's there? I think it too. Oh. But for a while it was what? It was uh, oh. Lion King. Yeah, for a long time. We have two drive-ins near us. And they both had the Lion King and Toy Story 4. That's what it was. We went once and saw Lion King. But we couldn't stay up for Toy Story. <laughs> had to go home. Well, we had to work. Or we, watch TV. or we could watch something on TV. Mm. Hmm. I don't know. Let me take a nap first. I'll think about it. <laughs> Thanks for eating with us today. Yeah, I'm glad you were here for our video. Mm -hmm. For our meal. Meatballs were in there for about seven hours. Could have been longer. I mean, could have left them all day. Mmm. I'm so good. Okay, we're going to finish this. And thanks again for stopping by. Please subscribe. Check out Kathy's channel. I'll put a link in the video description to her channel. You're going to make something. What were you going to make? Should I say? Because I don't believe you. <laughs> I was going to make 
a little bit later I'm gonna make buffalo stew <laughs> and I told Rick what I was gonna make he said I don't believe you <laughs> if you said disco stew I'd believe that first <laughs> oh my gosh I actually had to get the buffalo meat out and show him yeah yeah is that dessert what, or that's for tomorrow or that's later for tomorrow this is lunch is this lunch yeah but, but we'll make full. I'm making that for tomorrow so all right well check our channel out <laughs> and thanks for stopping by we'll see you have a nice night bye hope you had something good with us make some spaghetti <laughs> make some spaghetti and then start the video over again <laughs> all right talk to you later bye bye thank you see ya oh my Whoa, God, yeah. good shot <laughs> mm-hmm <laughs>